Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can send email notifications from your X and online using Power Automate. To perform that one, first of all, your Excel sheet should be stored into your SharePoint Online or into your OneDrive. In my case, I have stored into my SharePoint Online document library with the name of reminder email. And the second thing is all of your data should be formatted as a table. You can select all the data and can format this as a table and can select the table format and there will be a table name created automatically here. In case you want to provide a customized table name, you'll have to download this file and do it offline and then re-upload it to your document library. And now let's just talk about how we can create the reminder email here. I'll go in my insert section here and you can see there is office add-ins Click on this one. I have my Microsoft Flow for Excel already because I've used it. In case you don't find it here, what you can do is you can do go to your store. And in the search, you can just type like Flow. And you will have it here. Just click on Add, Continue. And now you can see that in the data, there is a flow option. Now click on this one. Now you can see that select a row in your table to create a flow. So basically the only option available in Excel online is the trigger point for flow is select a row. So I'll just click on this new instant from blank. For a selected row. I have to select the locations. So my file is stored basically in my dev site. In case we have OneDrive, you can select the OneDrive option here. Document library is documents. File name is reminder email. And the table name is reminder I have created as one. So in case you have the default table name, you'll get it like table one, table two. So once that is done, <coughs> Next step what I'm going to do is send email. To whom I want to send this email to the user email. So I will select the dynamic content here. And you can see the user email. After that, I'll go to the subject line, which I've already created with the reminder topic. So I can uh, select that as well. Reminder topic and in the body, I can uh, select my body text dynamically. All right, all the text here in this body text will come up here. And you can see that I provided a, a custom URL here. So in case you will not get it like as a URL, you can delete from here and can add a hyperlink option here. That's up to you. But right now, I'm just keeping it like that. And in the advanced option, if you want to change the from address, you can change it from here. I'm good to go and you can set the importance as well. So I'm going to set this on a high importance and I will just save this one. So one thing to just mention is it did not actually ask uh, me for the credential actually because I've already configured it. So the first time when you uh, you know add a flow and it will ask for your credential. So just keep in mind that. So once our flow is saved, so now what I'm going to do is you can see that the user email, the password state is pending. I'm going to send this particular user that reminder. All right, and I'll click on this run flow, continue, run flow, done. I should get an email notification. Yes, I got it. Your password is about to expire. Please change it from here. And the thing which I mentioned about the URL is like this. So you can pretty much change that by going to your this option and adding any of the 
URL from here. You can add a link here. You can do it like that. I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. Thank you so much for watching.